Okay, what is the process for enforcing trademark rights? Well, generally it depends on the level of protection that an individual has. Uh, so you look first to the extent of your protection. If you have a, um, a federally filed, nationally protected trademark, then uh, you have more options than if you just have common law or statutory protections in a state. Uh, but in some cases, depending on uh, the availability or your ability to get in the court, and in some situations it may be advantageous to you to pursue an action under state law. So with that in mind, you'll either file an action in federal or state court uh, based upon common law protections under state law, statutory protections under state law, or in federal court pursuant to your uh, federal a federally registered trademark. Okay. Now, before litigation generally begins, most of the time the parties will send uh, the party claiming trademark rights will send a cease and desist letter to the uh, individual using the mark that uh, uh, supposedly uh, infringes upon the trademark holder's rights. And uh, after that, if the individual does not respond. Uh, to the cease and desist letter with some means or method or plan for ceasing to use uh, that mark in commerce, then again, uh, the party can initiate the, the, uh, the trademark action. The big advantage to initiating the action in federal court, if those protections are available, is the ge geographical boundary. It'll have precedent all uh, throughout the United States. Um, you can bring the action anywhere throughout the United States. Uh, and also, the uh, federal action, uh, the filing nature of, of, of the trademark uh, creates a presumption for the holder of the trademark rights that they are valid, and that's something that the uh, defendant, the individual infringing upon the trademark, would have to overcome in court. So again, this stacks the odds again in favor of the individual seeking to uh, enforce the trademark rights. And then lastly, um, the uh, individual filing the action, the holder of the trademark rights, may be able to recover court costs and attorney's fees uh, for enforcing his or her uh, trademark rights.